right, we are out in the AM patio in the garden portion with Mark Cullen, who a couple of weeks ago cut down the only tree we had back here with a whole bunch of shade because yeah. it was diseased, right? Well, it, it, it had black knot. Yeah, black knot. So this is National Tree Day today. Yep. Three years ago, we planted this puppy over here. And sugar look maple. at how that's going, the sugar Native maple. sugar maple. It's growing like stink. So what's important about today? What's and important trees. is that you plant in good soil and understand that when you plant a tree, you plant clean air. You plant a place that you can swing you know, uh, a, um, a tire right. uh, in sure. another generation. You you plant cooling shade. So you do a lot of things, and I brought a couple of trees today right. that I wanted to explain. This is National Tree Day, partly because it's the ideal time of year to plant a tree. So Jeff, what I have here is a Canadian bred and hybridized Japanese tree lilac called ivory silk. And while it's not exactly knocking your eyes out right now, I right. can tell, yes, right. in the middle of June, it's going to produce fabulous, beautiful, uh, lilac shaped flowers much like this this plant right here and this is limelight hydrangea mm. obviously a fall bloomer and this is this is just an amazing this plant. Beautiful. These are going to turn pink. I know that. Late summer, early yeah. fall. And over here, the oldest tree known to mankind. Do you know what that is? Some I, of our, our viewers know. I don't know. I is. know you were there when it was created, but what, what is it? <laughs> Hundred million years ago, ginkgo biloba. Ginkgo biloba. Ginkgo biloba. We thought it was extinct because we saw fossils, the fossils of the leaves. Wow. So the point, of course, when you're planting is this. If we could just kind of arc down to the roots here and yeah. take a look at a good, healthy tree. A healthy tree, when you buy it, tree is 50% roots, 50% soil mass. So you see the soil here, Jeff, right? and you see there are lots of roots, but it's not a complete mass of roots. It hasn't taken over the pot, right? right? Okay. So it's ready to go in the hole. Oh, just as it is. Just as it is. So how deep is the hole that you dig for this? Well, the, the hole is going, we're going to plant this tree high because this soil is clay based and it's not well drained. So okay. we're going to put lots of soil around. up around it and we're going to mound the soil up around it so that the water drains away from it, not down into it. Right. And it'll be much happier in the long run as a result. You'll need more soil, use good quality soil, lots of compost, right, and water it in. And how big will these trees grow? And you know, this one, you remember how big this was three years ago? Not yeah. nearly that big. Well, that's true. It has grown, and as yeah. it puts down roots, yeah. it's going to produce lots of top growth. So it'll take about five years to really take off. It'll grow three to four feet a year. Eventually, it'll grow 60 to 80 feet high. Wow. That's a sugar maple. All right. This Japanese tree lilac, 25 feet. All right. All of this National Tree Day today. Mark talks about trees on his blog. You can check it out on our website, canadam.ctvnews.ca. We're back with more. Right. What's that called again? Ginkgo? Ginkgo biloba. Yeah.